<clears throat> sure. Thanks, Sean. Um, you know, disappointed, disappointed in how we played. Um, you know, had opportunities early uh, where our defense was uh, we, it was going out there and getting some really big stops. Um, you know, and, and we didn't take advantage of those situations as an offense. And you know, second quarter was you know kind of the the reverse of that. You know, we were able to get a little bit going. Uh, you know, create a little bit of momentum. You know, offensively, and uh, you know, weren't able to get stops on defense. And you know, at the end of the day. Um, you know, we, we turned the ball over. Um, you know, we gave them we gave them way too many extra possessions and, uh, and and put our defense in bad situations. And you know, that is uh, it becomes very difficult uh, to have success when you when you turn the ball over and put it on the ground as often as we did. Um, let's start with the good first time. Huh? What was the difference in John Zell morals this week? You know. Um, you know, I don't know if there was a difference, um, you know, in terms of, of anything. I think, you know, just, you know, he took advantage of his opportunity, you know, today and, you know, played really well for us. And I was really happy for him. Um, you know, someone who, you know, has, has, has worked really hard in this program and, um, you know, had, you know, some things not go his way, you know, early on in the season and, you know, just constantly, you know, staying, staying ready, staying focused and, and prepared and ready, you know, for when, you know, his number was called. And, um, you know, today he, I thought he ran really well, um, you know, made some, obviously had the, you know, the big run, big touchdown run, but, you know, even, you know, outside of that, just, you know, made some, made some really good runs for us, um, you know, uh, you know, was able to, you know, be elusive in some situations, make some people miss, um, also showed, you know, the ability to run with great power and finish. Um, so I was really happy uh, for him um, and proud of the way that, that he played today. Did you see anything in practice out of him this week or no? Um, that, would lead you to, that this was coming? No, you know, I mean, I think, you know, again, you know, he's, he's continued to, to work and, um, you know, make us, you know, give them an opportunity. You know, I think that's a credit credit to, to John Zell. Um, and, you know, again, when he gets that opportunity, he, he, he capitalized on it. Why did you start with Zach today? Um, you know, really the plan was to, you know, to, to play both the quarterbacks, um, you know, kind of get them both out there and going. Um, but, you know, really, you know, kind of felt like, from a run game perspective, like our best opportunity was, you know, was keeping DJ out there, whether it was in quarterback run or just, um, you know, having them respect, you know, his ability to pull the ball and just, you know, kind of open some things up for us, give us a little bit more air, um, you know, on the inside to, to run it, which I do think, um, you know, was helpful. Helpful. We certainly ran it better today than we have. Um, so, you know, it would have been, you know, great to, to be able to get Zach back out there, um, you know, at some point, um, just, you know, really, you know, with the way we were protecting and, um, you know, the way we needed to run the football, um, it was just, it was tough to do that. Um, was DJ rusty? Uh, you know, I don't know. Um, you know, I don't think so. I mean, he's, you know, obviously got, uh, you know, practice all week and, you know, the week before, um, you know, I think it just, you know, really just, you know, didn't do a good job of taking care of the football. Um, you know, I think that that's the big, uh, you know, that's the big thing that, you know, where he needs to, to be better. Um, we had some opportunities and he was, you know, making so many things happen, um, you know, for our offense. Um, but, you know, at the end of the day, uh, you know, if you're turning it over, um, you know, it's obviously, you know, not able to capitalize on any of those um, plays that he was making. So, um, you know, that was, you know, disappointing uh, to see that. And, you know, we got to be better in that area. Um, but, you know, I do think, you know, he made a lot happen for us and, you know, made some made some big plays, um, you know, with the, with his legs and ability to extend. Um, but we just got to take care of the ball. Turnovers. Is that a fundamental lack of focus? Yeah, you know, I mean, I, I don't know how else to, you know, describe it. Um, you know, I, I certainly think it is. Um, you know, we it's something that we that we emphasize. I mean, we, we, we talk about every day, we work on every single day. Um, you know, in fact, added more, uh, you know, ball security, um, you know, takeaway uh, type of drills uh, to our practice week um, this week than you know than we typically do uh, because we knew that that was going to be really important. And you know, certainly watching you know these guys on tape, um, 
you know, they, they uh, defensively do a nice job of punching at the ball and ripping at it and things like that. And, you know, I don't know if that was, you know, if, if they got us on some of those or uh, if we just, you know, weren't, uh, you know, doing a great job, you know, with, with you know, tucking it away with our proper fundamentals. So, um, you know, but in either case, um, you know, like you got to, we, we got to protect the football. <laughs> we, we can't, you know, turn it over and we can't, you know, just, you know, fumble the ball, you know, the way that we, the way that we did today. So, um, you know, we guess we got to do, we got to do more of it. What happened to the defense after those, they were stout in that first quarter. Yeah, so what played. happened beyond that? You know, I, I, I don't know. Um, you know, it's a good offense and, you know, they run the ball really well. So, you know, we anticipated them, you know, to put some drives together and, you know, they got the ability to score points and, um, you know, they can kind of score them in a hurry, you know, at times. So, um, you know, I, I did think we came out really well defensively and, you know, and that's where, again, like, you know, you got to you got to complement one another and you got to play together as a team. And that was such an important point of emphasis, um, you know, for us, you know, going into it. I mean, it's, it's all we talked about all week long is, you know, we're able to go out there and get a stop. Like it's so important that we have a great possession that we follow that up with a great possession on offense. And when we have a great possession on offense to be able to follow that up, um, you know, with a, with a great possession on defense. And, um, you know, I think when you, when you go back and you watch, um, you know, the, 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 their previous games, like that's where, you know, that's where, you know, they get hurt, um, you know, and that's, you know, an area where we really just, we didn't play well at the same time. Um, and, you know, you, you got to do that against a team like this to, to give yourself a chance and, you know, to keep it tight. Um, and, you know, we, we didn't, uh, you know, we allowed them to get a touchdown, um, you know, to go up, uh, you know, get, go up 14 at the half and then, you know, they came out in the second half and were able to, you know, extend that lead and, you know, it was hard to hard to recover from that point. This is I think this is the second week in a row where you your your offense has delivered points to keep things close. And and going into halftime or just before halftime, only to have the defense give points right back. Is there any way to co is there any way to correct that? Is there something you see there? What is going on? You know, I think it's just you know you, you got to execute better. Um, you know, again, it's a it's an area that we that we emphasize probably more than anybody. Um, you know, in terms of the middle eight, last four minutes of the first half, and uh, you know, first four minutes of the second half. Like it, it's just it's such a critical part of the game. You know, we, we implement, you know, periods of practice, you know, where we put our guys in those situations and, um, you know, we talk about it, we look at it on tape, we study it, we see NFL examples of it. And, you know, at the end of the day, like, we got to go out there and execute it. And, you know, when you don't, then, you know, it puts your team in a really difficult position. Um, you know, so many games are, are really won and lost in that, you know, in that, that middle part of the game. And, um, you know, that was a big factor in today, but it wasn't everything, you know, it wasn't everything. We were still all right, um, you know, still had a chance, um, you know, certainly if we'd have played a little bit better on offense in the first, the first quarter, um, you know, would have probably not been in that type of situation. But then, um, you know, even, you know, that being said, like we got to be able to respond offensively and pick each other up, you know, it's not always going to be perfect. Um, but like we got to respond and, and pick each other up when the offense is struggling defense has got to pick pick them up and you know when the defense is struggling like offense has got to pick them up and that's you know that's what uh, you know that's what's required so um, you know that was the area that you know we just we didn't do a great job of you know when we were when we were playing well um, you know we were playing well on one side of the ball you know and, and not the other and against a team like that that's gonna you know it's it's you're just you're spinning your wheels all right sir Thanks for your time as always. Okay, thank you, George.